This is the PreSonus IOStation 24C. If you use Studio One, you're gonna like it. If you use Ableton, you're gonna like it. If you use Logic, Pro Tools, Cubase, this thing is compatible with the best DAWs out there and it has a motorized fader. Mic drop. The IOStation is a combination of two PreSonus products, the fader port and the Studio 24C audio interface, but it has the higher end preamps from PreSonus's more expensive interfaces. I'll give you more details later. This thing is $300, but don't let that scare you. It's feature packed and handles lots of things in one package. In this video, I'll go over all the DAW features of the IO station and the audio interface features. I'll show you what it can control in Ableton, and then I'll talk about who I think will benefit most from a device like this. And I'll also cover a couple small issues. Check the link in the description to find the best price on the IO station 24C. If you're new around here, I'm Sanjay C. I review the latest music gear and post music production tips on my channel. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I always share the latest gear first and get straight to the good stuff. Okay, the motorized fader. I've always wanted a control surface with motorized faders, but this just has one. So if you're trying to control multiple tracks at once, well, you can't. But that didn't really matter to me when I was mixing or recording automation with this. I rarely thought, hmm, I need to control everything right now because they've got these handy buttons to switch easily between tracks and the fader moves along with it. I love this. Something about moving parts just brings out the kid in us, doesn't it? The fader is really useful for recording automation and it records all your changes like magic. So what else can you control with it? I'm gonna talk about Ableton Live cause that's my DAW, but main controls will be similar in other DAWs. In Ableton, you can run it in MCU, which is Mackie Control Universal mode, but that doesn't limit the features. No way, you've got control of your transport, that's play, stop, record, loop, undo, redo, pan, solo, mute, arm, it's all here. The only thing I wish it had was a metronome on and off for Ableton. In Ableton, the click button just turns on punch in. But in Ableton, you can trigger clips and scenes by pressing scroll and then click for a clip or section for a scene. Takes some getting used to, but you've got it. In a Ranger view, you've got zoom control and you can navigate the timeline with the wheel. You've even got buttons to switch views between session and arrangement view and show or hide the browser and devices. There's really nothing missing here except the metronome. So what features does the audio interface have? Well, it's got two inputs, XLR instrument line combos, a set of quarter inch outputs, a headphone out, and a foot switch. When's the last time you had an audio interface with a foot switch on it? You can use it to start and stop recordings or punch in and out. It's useful if you've got a guitar in hand or both hands on your keyboard. Just use your foot, pedal not included. Another one of my favorite features is the mute button. It sounds simple, but it's so useful. When you're recording with a mic, just hit this button to turn off your speakers. Hit it again when you're ready to turn them on. Why don't all interfaces come with this? The preamp used in this interface is the XMAX preamp, which is on the PreSonus top tier interfaces. So yeah, it's good. Take a listen. This is me testing out the PreSonus IOStation 24C. Let's compare that to another popular interface, the Focusrite 2i2. Yes, it's a different price range, but I just want you to hear the difference, if any. This is me testing out the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2. This is me testing out the PreSonus IOStation 24C. <laughs> The IO station has all the other audio interface features, including direct monitoring, phantom power, and all the rest of the stuff. By the way, check out my video on how to choose an audio interface where I explain all this jargon in simple terms. So given that you have a full dock controller and audio interface, is this the ultimate device for portability? Well, yes, with one caveat, it needs to be plugged in for power. 
power. Yeah, just one more thing to plug in. But I guess it needs that power for that motorized fader. PreSonus always includes some of the best software packages out there. You get the Studio One Dock, the artist version, Ableton Live Lite, and the Studio Magic Bundle, which has really nice plugins, including Arturia's Analog Lab Lite, output movement, and lots of great effects. Hey, if you're finding this information useful, hit the like button, and if you have a question, leave it in the comments below. And check out my news reports videos for the latest music gear news, deals, and free plugins. The latest one is right here. Let's talk about the price. It's 300 bucks, but it's actually a really good value. If you want motorized faders, the only other current product that's close to this one is the Behringer X-Touch 1, and that's just a control surface. With the PreSonus IO Station, you get the audio interface included. Now, if you don't need the audio interface part, just go for the fader port. You get all the features, and that's just 219 bucks. But think about that. For just $80 more, you get a quality audio interface. So who is this for? I think it's great for a bedroom producer. The form factor gives you two really useful devices in one, and the control surface really has everything you'll ever want. And if you're just getting started, the included software is all you need to start making music. PreSonus IO Station 24C is available right now. I'll put a link to it in the description below. I'm really excited to keep on using it. If you like this video, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Keep making the music you love. And hey, check out one of these videos next.